Hi guys, it's me Yobi Programmer and today we will cover the topic of output parser in the lang chain and if you are working on any custom project you can let me know on the whatsapp or mail to discuss about that project or you can fill out this form all the links are in the description ok let's get started with the structured output parser how we can get the desired output from the LLM in a structured way so that uh, the randomness of uh, output can be handled okay so that's why we have to use the output parser basically if we want to return multiple fields uh, let me give you a scenario so the output parser is the today topic and the other topics we have already covered in this playlist are these ones you can check that out on the channel okay so here I am uh, creating a LLM and I will just rerun this okay now I will specify the scenario so what I want to do is uh, I want to open a uh, I opened a restaurant restaurant and now I want my LLM to tell me 10 items for fast food this we have already done in this previous video I know that but now I also want let me open the world wrap now I also want 10 items for starters one way is uh, you can ask directly to LLM that give me uh, 10 items for fast food, 10 items for starters and it will uh, do the job uh, for you. But if you want uh, that response in a structured uh, manner like if I can show you from here as uh, fast food items and then a uh, list of that uh, 10 items and then started items and then list of uh, that menu right then you have to use this structure output format okay let's get started uh, practically I will use uh, this documentation and you can take a look in this link python.langchain.com I will copy this line where they are giving me a way to uh, develop the output parcel and response schema schema is coming from the database concepts and I will get back to it later okay. not later here is the schema uh, we have to use that right now okay. the schema is this one why my word wrap is So from langchain.outputparser I have uh, imported the output parser and response schema. I am developing a schema here and the schema is the uh, variables or outputs we want from our LLM. Okay, so what I want? I want uh, fast food items and in the description I can say this will be a comma separated list of 10 fast food items for my restaurant and in the brackets I will say only uh, items names okay this is looking good and the second Thing will be the starters starters okay and I will copy this because I am lazy okay starters only this will be a constant list of 10 starter items okay. do this yeah 
Okay, cool. But let's see what we are getting from this output parser. Let me execute that and let me run it. So structured output parser is a data structure of the lag chain and it is giving you the response schema, two response schema. One is for fast food, the other is for starters. Okay, cool. But the next line will be creating a format uh, for this output parser. Let's see that. Format instructions and in the same cell I will print that out. So print format instructions. Okay, let's see. So you can see this whole thing is automatically generated from this output parser and this will be instruction we will give to our uh, length chain. We can obviously write it uh, ourselves but uh, this will be a great shortcut to use when you are using the uh, output parser in length chain. And this whole uh, uh, structure or the uh, instructions we are giving to LLM is already tested out that it will always work uh, in the right manner. Okay. Maybe you are writing it yourself, you maybe uh, forgot this colon, this comma and many things but uh, if you do it with this package it will always be the same. And you can see it will return your JSON, we will convert it to a dictionary and this will be a description of that. Okay. Now let's simply give it to our LLM and I will not uh, use the prompt template, I will use the F string and I believe it is the most easy thing which you can use and I will say I am creating uh, opening, not creating opening a restaurant named Bell Foods, a famous restaurant, Bell Foods, uh, please recommend me you can see I have not stated anything that I want fast food, I want starters. I have already done that uh, in this uh, response schema. Okay. So what I will do is include that format instructions in my prompt. Yeah, it should work. And I will store the response in a variable as response and LLM, which is this guy here, LLM dot predict. And then I will give this prompt. Okay. Let's see. Hit the run. It is being processed. Okay, so we are getting a JSON. Uh, if I print this, maybe we can see it something clear. But don't worry, we are gonna parse it just now. Okay, fast forward this and this. What we can do is now we can parse it into a dictionary just like that output dot parser and then the output so i will say response as dictionary output parser dot parse and what is this output parser this is this guy here we have created that right with this module of langchain okay response as get and this is our output. Oh my God. Oh no, 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 no. Where is getting 
Let's go. Yeah. Response as dick. And let's see now this response. Okay, so we are successfully getting a dictionary of 10 fast food items and 10 started items. You can see what are the items. Okay. And I can now pass it easily as fast food. And you can see I'm getting get only. And if I check for starters, I will get that only. Okay, guys. So this is the uh, output parsers. And I hope you like the video. If you like it, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are working on any custom project, you can let me on these uh, contacts. Okay. I will meet you in the next uh, video with some other topics of blank chain or generative ai thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video